It was my birthday, and I was playing in a JV basketball tournament in Tabor. And the whole time that we were playing, anytime there was a timeout or there was a quiet part of the game, uh, Beans would always yell out, Happy birthday, Darren! He probably said happy birthday to me 25 times in that game. Beans always made me feel good. There's nothing about Beans that ever made me feel bad about myself or mad or, or sad. Chris, actually, he was named Beans through his friends at school. I always called him Chris myself. Beans, uh, he was one of those guys that uh, everyone loved. He would find people who weren't in this group of friends and weren't necessarily in any group of friends, and he would go and he would befriend them. Chris was the most selfless person I've like ever met. That morning, I went over with my seminary teacher, Brother Scott, to the Yokoyama's house. And I saw Beans' parents, and I went up to them and I I said sorry. That That's all I could say was sorry. I, I didn't know what else to say. For Darren, it, was, it wasn't physical. It was the anguish of losing a friend and knowing that another friend was hurt. That really hurt Darren. I continue to wonder and ponder what happened and, and actually wonder if Heavenly Father knew who I was and if he was actually there. It didn't make sense to me how I was the driver and Beans had passed away and Chris was in critical condition in Calgary. And I walked home that night. I was lost, I was confused, I was mad, I was, I was angry, I was all these feelings. And I, I wanted answers now, I didn't, I didn't want to wait. And Heavenly Father doesn't work that way, I've learned. Um, he does it in different ways. The next Monday, there was well over 250 kids that came through the door of the seminary. It was hard to watch kids struggle and cry, but it was comforting to see them turn to the Lord for that comfort rather than just seeking out friends. And there was a whole bunch of people there and not one person to me ever said it's your fault or anything like that. I could feel, I could feel the love, I could feel the spirit, and I knew Beans was okay at that time, and that he didn't want us to be upset, that he was happy and he wanted us to carry on and be missionaries here on earth. At that time, I also learned that Heavenly Father knows who I am knows who each of us are and that he uh, he knows that um, if we have faith that we can conquer anything and that he doesn't give us a trial that we can't overcome. Ask God for help. Um, he will give you help. Over the past year and a half, it's been tough, but being on my knees quite a bit, I got answers later on plan of salvation, the atonement, it's real to me. Before, I mean, you, you learn it in seminary, you learn it in church your whole life when you're growing up, but until you actually apply it to your life, it takes a whole different meaning. From that, I know that Beans is all right, and that uh, I'll get to see him again. <laughs>